It's your boy. Dainty. Yes, sir. Dainty. It's me. Dainty. Away. Enjoy. Dainty. Yeah. Dainty. <laughs> Welcome to the show, and, and this is, will be our, our first episode. Guys, thank you for allowing me back into the family. I'm happy to be here <laughs> during these tough times. Um, and, and you obviously being my parents and giving me life. This is the, the, the main thing for me to, to just sit down and speak to you guys. Um, the way you read myself and Lee sitting there. Um, um, growing up, Daddy you grew up in Glimo, Athlone, Mommy, Bowel. Um, but it wasn't only Bowel. Obviously, you were born in 1963, Daddy in 60. You were growing up in the heart of a party, basically. Um, you were evicted from, from Goodwood, am I right? Yes. Oh, my mother grew up there. Yes. So, the stories that she used to tell was mm. they were a close community, mm. like everybody living together, um, playing together, mm. and they were just removed from there. And mm. her mother ended up in Bishop Lavis. That Bishop is where Lavis. Okay. She loved, She then moved to Alsis River, got married, mm. and it was really difficult at the time. I can you imagine? Typical parents, always over explaining everything. But please, people, hang tight. The end of the stories is always worthwhile listening to. Um, especially now where we live comfortably and, and you know, driving through areas. I, mean, I remember growing up, um, driving through certain areas and the, the, the main thing that always stuck in my mind was that, was that used to be a white area. That used to be a white area. Mm. Um, and Kunul was one of them. Yes. Um, so, I mean, that's what apartheid affected us in a, in a certain way where we refer to areas mm. being mm. formerly white areas. Yeah. Um, but now we can, we're fortunate enough to live in, in those areas. Yes, and Daddy, you, Glimo, obviously, um, Biscuiten yeah. Road, it's off a famous road for colored people. Uh, Thornton Road. Thornton Road, yes. 19, when was the Trojan horse? What year was that? Okay. Yeah. I mean, you, you, the track road passed me. Yes, I, I know that. In, I had a stony man and the track road passed me. Or oh, passed my cell and my friends. Yes. And on about... 30 meters after that, we just had this explosion. And these, these guys shot unarmed people that were standing on a corner. And uh, they just wiped them out. I mean, I mean, they were all guys. What can they do to you? Mm. But that is actually referring to the Trojan Massacre. For those of you interested, there's a memorial site in Thornton Road, Athlone. So, yeah, but um, we, we had a very quiet area. Everybody knows everybody. Yes. You can go in there supper time. Of course. And she get the race before. Yeah. But this year, you don't need to race. You're not even invited. You're not even invited when you don't need to race. But that was the life thing. Fantastic. You could walk any time of the day and you were safe. Yeah. You know, and everybody knew the respect that came through, like now. Mm. You find a youngster coming past you and having a cigarette in front mm. of you. That's the respect. You know? Yeah. So, so there was a lot of, a lot of respect for, for the elderly or the older. Yes. You know, I mean, like. I eventually grew up and sitting in Granny's house, the family house there in the school terrain. And you guys, brother and sister, whoever visited, would walk out the house to go smoke, but you'd sit <laughs> in the lounge and drink in front of Granny. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I always found funny because. I never like, smoked in front of my mother. Exactly. We exactly. went to, to uh, like we used to call it Langa. Yes. Soccer dogs, isn't it? Yes. And a sound uh, we sit, Yeah, we were sitting and drinking, but we were smoking outside. Outside, yeah. And that I always found strange where. It would be disrespectful to smoke in front of someone, elderly, but you can drink in front of them. That was I always found, I found a, a certain type of... Like my uncle said to me, he took the place of my father when my father died when I was yes. just, just before 10. And then uh, he took the place of my father and he told me, Drunky? Mm. Yes, puppy, yes I think. Mm. Okay. But too much have respect. Mm. My, I drank with your grandfather. And we used to sing, and that's why I still love singing. Mm, you're a big singer, yeah. So, so, so he used to tell me, you can have a drink, but you need to behave yourself. And mm. something happens, never again. So that was the respect we had. We could drink, mm. and we could get to shut up. That's it. That's it, yeah. Know your place when, when you start to talk, yeah. You know? Growing up now, um, you met, you're happily married for 32 years. Mommy, I don't know if you're happily married. Daniel will say he's a little bit. You met for 32 years. Um, <laughs> you, 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 probably, you probably met like every other colored, uh, colored couples back then at camp. 
<laughs> a lot of couples met at yes, camp. We did. You did? Can you can you speak? What happened? I know you poured rum for daddy and you poured Fanta for the rum. No. You don't daddy is wrong. Daddy told me that it's wrong. <laughs> we used to camp at uh, Kolbai. Okay. Kolbai, I think they call it yeah. now. Um, every year we used to go after Christmas and then come back in the new year. And I think daddy watched every year. Okay. And at the time when he approached me, who tries to I think that was the time when he built up the courage okay. to come and make contact. Uh -huh. So I didn't give him any information. Okay. My mother gave him information. Okay. My mother gave him information. So and you went more like this? <laughs> <laughs> so daddy came one day and he asked me if I have cool drink mm. um, because I need it for the rum, I think. And we had a planter. And I gave him the pen. <laughs> and that, that is how we met. And that people know you cannot and drink red or to spend Well, I didn't know that. And I'm, not I'm disappointed so because know we know that as a shy, shy person, right? <laughs> and for him to come, did he know your name, obviously, by that time? Yes. He didn't know your name. Really? But you go over to mommy to ask for cool drink. But that was the icebreaker, man. Yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you something that you cool drink. And then eventually from there, the, the yes. journey happened. Yes. The courtship happened, as you say. Yes. Daddy drove a Valiant. Yes. Um, and he used to drive said, from... His, his travels were, were long, obviously. Yeah, Daddy didn't have a car at the time. Yes. No, uh, Fiat. Uh, yes. Okay. So, Brian was his uh. friend and Brian used to fetch us uh. and then... Daddy obviously in the car and then we would go out, okay. come back, sometimes Daddy would come with um, your auntie's car mm. and then eventually he got a Valiant that was massive. Massive, you used to sit that side. far away from me. Uh. Um, then he used to come fetch me and went out. Mm. Um, I remember the one night um, we went out to town and my cousin was with us. and. We went in and then the guy told us that you're not allowed in. She can come in but we can't. Because she's fair, long hair. Shocking. And straight hair. Yeah. yeah. Straight hair. Long, long blonde hair and and he said she can come in. But you guys don't know. But you. we it was. And then we you had a cruise copy, us. obviously. Huh? You had a cruise copy. Yeah, then he had yeah. me at the time. Yeah. Cruise yeah. Um <laughs> She, she's allowed in, um, they don't allow colored people into the club and then we all turned around and... And she obviously just said now she's with... Yeah, and she's coming with us and if she... Just because if she was we scared, can't, If we can't come in then... No one's gonna go in now. She, we're not going. So basically with a skin tone like this and hair like this, you're not getting to any sort of clubs. So we turned around and those are the kind I mean, of experiences, experiences that, that, that and it was I never remember. yeah it was never kept away from from Lena. we 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 heard about it so we knew what the struggle yes. was you know a I lot remember. of families don't speak openly about yes. the part that really because yes. they want to make things comfortable yes um the way that we were reared was never to <clears throat> keep quiet always say what's on your mind um but do it in a respectful way mm -hmm. and this is basically what i mean i've learned personally from from you guys where we can't be this, you know, introvert where something's on your mind and you carry it around for so long. Mm -hmm. Where you need to be out there and speak openly about what's on your mind. And I can be eternally grateful for that because the career path that I chose, you need to be confident and, you know, open and honest about certain things, you know. And, and, and that for me was something that I could always take with me to go to the, you know, to the next level of, of what I'm trying to do, mm -hmm. you know, and, and just be confident in in something because daddy <coughs> is a quiet guy but if there's something on his mind he's gonna say it yeah and i know you're very stubborn in your thoughts and you and what you you're thinking all the time but you're also not gonna you know keep quiet if something's irritating you and that is something that that i'm eternally grateful to to, to inherit and and take to you know the the next phase of 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 my life um i mean we we really had you mm. We went through everything with you. Mm. We cried with you, mm. and we were overjoyed when you, when you, when you succeeded and stuff. I mean, I can't tell. I am a champion again. Yeah, probably not, but <laughs> you can say. Um, your debut mm. against um, Zimbabwe. Mm. 
I was so upset because I was standing in spa mm. and I couldn't get out of spa because I was between <laughs> TV and work. Mm. And uh, she said, she, she, you phoned me and she, that's mm. not so, and I phoned you. Mm. And I said, did they just take a wicket with this first ball? Mm. And the people thought I was mad mm. because I was shouting. Mm. And I felt it was a God-given talent. So fulfill that talent. Yeah. So let us help you to develop that. Of both you and Lee. Mm. And then see where you end up. And today I'm sitting back. And I'm proud of both of you because achieved. you achieved what was set out there for you. And it's through hard work, mm. you know. So I just feel if we didn't give you that opportunity, then it would have been selfish. I, I just feel that um, um, Dane, with what he was doing, he was just struggling to get into the teams. Yes. Mm. Although he had all the ability. But you know then, uh, um, I might just be controversial and say, if you can't smoke over the coach, you don't make the team. With the sister Anna Samosa, parents used to persuade coaches to get their boys into the team. That's junior ranks, yeah. You don't make the team. I saw people coming with boxes of samosas and parents. <laughs> And, 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 no, that's the truth. And, 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 and I admired Dane because he kept me away from the trials as well. You remember? Because you always said you know this guy, you know that guy, you know that guy. You I, always went to, I was a guy that wanted to be there and made it. Mm. And then you, you, you know how it sad it made me because I had to sit in the car mm. for three hours mm. you know, while, while they were training. Because I played soccer with, with a lot of top coaches as well. And he had, um, I said, the Sunday Times, the report. Uh, whatever papers we, we had those days. And I sat in the car and waited for him to be done. The first time that I went is when you were kept under 17. Mm. That was the first time that I met, uh, spoke again to Nazim Smith and all mm. those guys. All those guys, yeah. You know? So, so they made it basically on his own. But he also wanted to keep us and include us. It was difficult, but you wanted to include us and you had to keep us away because we knew people. Mm. So, yes, we gave you the opportunity to grow. And you did at, at, at sex. You ended up with, as the captain of the first team, mm -hmm. which was brilliant. Mm -hmm. Peter Peter Kirsten, your coach, and he was because we were never. You know, we used to sit in the corner, me and my and mom. We were never part of the crowd. We came to support sex, and you, and we didn't want to be in there because we the captain's parents. Mm -hmm. And then Peter Kirsten told me, you know, Mr. Pete, your son upsets me and he makes me. Great as well because he takes chances that I would never take, taken as a captain. Yeah, that's from a young age of sort of development. The, the, yeah. the games were tough if, and it was exciting because Weinberg always wanted to beat you, mm. Ronda was always wanted to beat you, mm. and you've beaten all three of those teams, Bishops as well. Easily. In one, <laughs> in one season, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. So that, that's, what I, that's what I enjoyed and, and that's what made me extremely proud of mm. you know, that I could go yeah. watch you playing soccer. You came, you said to me, Daddy, I want you to go back to soccer because mm. I want to see what you can do. I'm obviously the better footballer. Never. Football. <laughs> Never. I might be a bit heavy, but that's it. <laughs> now nah, your vision was world-class, world-class. Mommy, from you also, thank you for the chip rolls that we never have. <laughs> After we played, they only doubled it by the nine. nine. Yeah, the chip rolls. Uh, the chip rolls and some voices and that's the sisters. I, that's how I started but you missed out. You no, missed no, out. No. I, I started the same way when we never have it. I okay. used to buy me a cheese roll. <laughs> Crush me a cheese roll. <laughs> but it didn't end there. Mommy was with you, so it had to end there for you. Yes. And a donut for me. And a donut for me. <laughs> you used to work on a Saturday, so mommy yeah. used to stand there with a high tech speed boots yes, in the rain. I remember. Big jacket, running, running around, running shouting, shouting, shouting. Peter Goli. Peter Goli, Peter Goli. <laughs> Peter Goli, Peter Goli. But yeah, that was yes. all, the, all those memories of, of. You were a bad sportsman from. Yeah, yeah of course. Yes. I don't like losing. You couldn't lose. No. And then I used to go to the dressing room and I said, Where's Dan? Did you, did you shake hands? No. 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 I go? No. No. I said, where did I come? Go shake hands. And I used to go shake hands. But that made you the person you are. I hate losing up until the day. Mm. People might think out there, like, nah, Dane has always got a smile on his face, so he's made his banter here, he's talking shit to this guy, that guy. But it's like, I still hate losing up until today. I'm 30 really years old and I, I don't like losing. I never used to shake hands. But like, mommy sitting there, William Herbert was standing on the side, shouting at us, um, wait close, down till you're on you, up until you're on you, wait. Yes. And then you have and to take the kit home and yeah, wash it and 
but they are always always been there in the corner in our corner supporting us growing up in theater watching lee it, it was amazing but yeah. thank you um thank you for being open and honest um, i really do appreciate it and speaking about our journey and your personal journeys as well yes. thank you for continuing for being an inspiration um but yeah really enjoy sitting down and talking with you guys um and just speaking about everything that we have the talent production team we will take a photo of Swinston and the nine and the ten no and the nine the style of the socks always 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 you nobody else no and that style the greatest player in the world is to do it Zinedine Zidane my favorite player is to roll the socks at the top and you have like a sausage roll on top of your socks so that is where I picked it up and I always wanted to be Zizou yeah so thank you for allowing me to come back into a woman into the house and speaking about your journey. I really do appreciate it, yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, cool. Thanks for joining guys and um, thanks for watching. Keep continuing to watch the space. Um, but yeah, cheers.